Alert, GOP turncoats make horrifying anti-Trump move. With Trump as president and a Republican majority in the House, many Americans believed the issues they have long been supporting with their votes would finally be resolved. Yet according to Politico, a number of turncoat Republicans have complicated efforts and betrayed their voters. These Republicans are threatening to keep Obamacare alive and prevent tax cuts. A small group of turncoat Republicans sometimes referred to as the Devil May Care Caucus are actively working against their party's and constituents' interests, and their numbers are growing. These Republicans have stubbornly opposed the many attempts to repeal Obamacare and are looking to provide major obstacles to the establishment of future tax cuts. The National Review reported that Republican voters are furious that Republican lawmakers have failed to keep their campaign promises for seven years and continue in failing to do so. With a right-minded president and a Republican majority, the only excuse for their failure to keep promises is their personal character, rather than the political leverage they claimed not to have for seven years. What's more concerning is that Obamacare is still marching, inching toward the grave in the meantime. Premiums are rising, insurers are dropping out of the market, and entire states no longer have viable options for health care coverage so long as Obamacare exists, yet Republicans still can't come to terms with how to repeal it. One of the reasons for the rise of the turncoats may have to do with the invincibility some feel when it comes to re-election. Senators like John McCain, R. Oz, Rand Paul, Arkey, and Lisa Murkowski, Arak were recently re-elected and will not have to face voters for some time. Others like Senators Bob Corker, RTN, and Susan Collins, or me, will not run for re-election and won't suffer political consequences for their actions. Corker says since he announced he would no longer pursue re-election, he felt acting against his party was a little easier. Corker claims he's running against Republican interests because he believes they've lost their way. People have lost their heads since the election, Corker said. It's a debate about the future. Are we folks who care about leaving this country better for future generations? Or are we all about party time here, to make ourselves beloved by people not having to pay taxes but throwing kids under the bus down the road? With the Democrats stonewalling every measure presented by Republicans, the narrow majority can hardly afford to lose one vote meaning this small group of rebellious Republicans has complicated every major issue to come to the floor. This has led to stagnation and inaction within the House. Senator John Thune, RSD, said frustrating Republican voters can make things very dangerous in future elections. Although they like to assert their independence at times, Thune said, the team's got to produce results if we're going to continue to keep our majority. And it's a valid concern. If the Republican Party still can't come together after voters put a Republican president in the White House and voted in a majority Senate, then it's unlikely voters will turn out to vote again for Republicans. Why would anyone vote for a politician or political party who goes back on their word, makes excuses, and betrays the voters? What this handful of rebels doesn't realize is that their stubbornness to act in the best interest of the voters and their party will cause a rift that will hand Democrats the majority in the next election. Considering the undaunted unity Democrat politicians have to their party, this would spell disaster for those on the right wanting to roll back the damage caused by the Obama years. A failing Obamacare could become a permanent aspect of living in America. But a more disturbing concern might be that these turncoat Republicans, many who are unconcerned about re-election, are aware of the damage they're causing and that's their intent. In any case, these Republican rebels need to keep their promises or vacate their seat for someone who will, one who will.